We use methotrexate to treat some cancers. Methotrexate binds to dihydrofolate reductase, which prevents the cell from using folic acid to produce amino acids. As a result, cells die. The problem is that normal cells die too. We need to find a way to kill off the cancer cells faster than we kill off the normal cells. So, we cheat. After we give the poison, we give the antidote. But it's an antidote that only the normal cells can use. We use a drug called leucovorin calcium. The drug is also known as folinic acid, which sounds an awful lot like folic acid, and that is not a coincidence. Leucovorin is an awful lot like folic acid. But in this case, the resemblance is a good thing. What leucovorin, folinic acid, does is it is converted in the cell to this tetrahydrofolate. When we give methotrexate, the production of this tetrahydrofolate is blocked via the pathway above. However, leucovorin is converted into the tetrahydrofolate using a different pathway. Now that the cell has the tetrahydrofolate it needs, it can go ahead and produce amino acids. Well, that doesn't actually seem to make a whole lot of sense. We're giving methotrexate to block the production of amino acids. Then we give a substance that bypasses that block step and allows the amino acid synthesis to continue. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of getting methotrexate to begin with? When leucovorin is taken up by cells, synthesis of amino acids starts up again, even when there's still lots of methotrexate around. We can accomplish this because leucovorin enters into the synthesis process downstream of dihydrofolate reductase. Conversion of folic acid is still being blocked, but that's okay because we're now supplying the cell with another substance that can complete the process. We are using leucovorin to rescue the cell. Well, that's all very clever, but when we rescue the normal cells, don't we also end up rescuing the cancer cells as well? The reason it helps is cancer cells don't seem to be able to make use of leucovorin the way that normal cells do. As a result, we end up in a situation where the normal cells are capable of using the antidote, leucovorin, whereas the cancer cells don't seem to be able to use it as efficiently.